May God Almighty give our work His blessing, strengthen our purpose, and endow us with wisdom and the trust of our people. For we are fighting not for ourselves, but for Germany. This was the closing of Adolf Hitler's proclamation speech to the people of Germany on 1st of February, 1933 the day after he was appointed Chancellor. Though Nazi Germany was a totalitarian regime, Hitler valued the support of the German public as he genuinely believed he was working to secure their future. As leader of the Nazi party, he relied on his powerful speeches at events and rallies to spread Nazi ideology and influence public opinion. But after coming to power in 1933, Hitler appointed Joseph Goebbels as Minister of Propaganda and launched a systematic and aggressive marketing campaign. Over the 12 years that the Nazi party was in power, they continuously injected pro-Nazi posters, books, newspapers, films, magazines and comic books on a directionless German public with an aim to popularize radical nationalistic policies. The messages were clear. Jews were the enemies as they were responsible for making Germans jobless. Additionally, Hitler encouraged every Nazi youth to dream of serving his country through military enlistment and every Nazi woman to focus on raising pure German children and taking care of her home. Cleverly coined terminology or code words were used to convince the people that all of Hitler's ideas were actually theirs. In addition to that, these terms disguised the immorality of the acts the Nazi regime was carrying out. For instance, Words like kill or murder were never used in their official communication. Instead, mass killings were termed special treatment or final solution for the Jews. When the physically and mentally challenged were eliminated, it was called euthanasia, which means good death. Evacuation meant deporting people to gas chambers, which were called disinfection areas. The most popular pro-Nazi book was Hitler's biography, Mein Kampf, where he outlined his ideas and methods for creating effective political propaganda. Daily newspapers across Germany twisted the truth to suit Nazi ideology every day. The most popular anti-Semitic film was The Eternal Jew, in which Jews were likened to rats and pests. Censorship was also a part of the Nazi regime's behind-the-scenes propaganda efforts. Goebbels banned the American anti-war film, All Quiet on the Western Front, from showing in Germany. For Hitler, the truth was something you believed, not something that needed to be proven beyond reasonable doubt. Using creative presentation, emotional appeals and aggressive promotion, Nazi propaganda spread the truth of Nazism, captured the imagination and loyalty of the German people, and united Germany in a singular belief.